Hello Pancasters, welcome to another episode and today we are doing something a bit different. We have a special guest that is going to talk about some new features in the latest Palo Alto Networks release which is PanOS version 11 or Nova. To start with, please welcome Michael Lawson from our product management team. Hey John, nice to be here today. Thanks for joining us today Michael. If you could, let's start with your take on the current global threat landscape. Sure thing. The current global threat landscape is comp is complicated. Um, more specifically, in addition to your you know ransomware as a service operations and you know financially motivated groups, you know there is a full on conflict going on in Ukraine, and along with the armed conflict, you know that includes a you know I think we're witnessing the first full on nation state cyber war as well. Um, all this means that the malware we're seeing these days is more sophisticated than than in the past and um, more difficult to detect and built in uh, built in programs to avoid and interrupt detection and analysis um, specifically you know extremely well crafted malware that's been uh, quality tested against multiple security solutions, um, all with the goal of evading detection. Uh, and and that's kind of what's kept us innovating and building on not only what we've done in the past, but with some new things that we we're happy to release around Nova. And Nova has some specific new features to help with this. Can you give us some more details? Certain. So Wildfire has been in production for 11 plus years. And uh, over the 11 years, it has grown exponentially uh, with uh, the additional file types, new detection technologies, machine learning, and dynamic analysis. And it's continuing continued to be innovated you know, based on real threats that we see out there. Uh, we build you know, better analysis and detection techniques for it. And once we're able to analyze and detect a specific threat, we build uh, uh, protections for that that's fed out to our cyber ecosystem, if you will. With Nova, we have one-upped ourselves. We have built from the ground up uh, advanced wildfire. And it is a custom built in-house uh, hypervisor that has several features in it that helps us deal with not only the threats we're doing dealing with today, but kind of future-proofing it so it can be uh, the guiding principle of detection for like the next 11 years. And some of those things that we've built into this, uh, which is at cloud scale, is, is very impressive. Uh, starting off with its introspective analysis. Typically, when you analyze malware, you analyze on a virtual machine, you have some tools running on that virtual machine to collect and detect all the behaviors that the malware is performing against the, the machine. Introspective moves those tools out of the virtual machine and puts them at the hypervisor level. So it's an outside in approach. And the reason for doing this is we know that malware authors write specific hooks and checks and look for anything that is attempting to collect um, uh, information about you know, observed behavior. So typically those those tools that run on the VM look like a debugger, you know, like a program debugger. And so they'll look for the presence of those tools and they won't run. So moving them outside makes it invisible to them. Uh, another thing that we built into Advanced Wildfire was memory analysis. More and more today, memory <clears throat> uses a few common techniques of like process injection or process hijacking. And it runs in the memory space of a program that's already running, like uh, Explorer or Chrome, for instance. Uh, and once the payload runs in memory or is executed in memory, it deletes the file. So from a forensics capability, you know a crime's been committed, but all the evidence is gone. It's just sitting there in memory, and you have to be able to read memory. It's really the only way to detect this, the, the, you know, this, these payloads. So we have a real-time memory analyzer that runs alongside um, of this analysis. So as things are running, uh, we are watching the memory, and we use uh, Yara memory-based Yara rules to detect malicious behavior and specifically tag things that we know about. And we also built 
the industry's first real-time <laughs> memory analyzer, machine learning uh, analyzer. And it's able to detect um, uh, malicious behavior in memory and flag it as well for us. Uh, in addition to that, we built a um, industry first of a malware dependency library emulator. So one of the things that you know we know from working in a Windows computing type world, if you don't have a certain program installed, you can't open up a file. So if I don't have uh, Microsoft Word on my computer and I get a Word file, I go to open it, I get a little window that says, or you know, unable to open this file type. We've all kind of seen that various times uh, in working on computers. Malware authors understand this and use this against us. So they specifically pick software libraries that might be obscure or hard to find. Um, and after careful reconnaissance on their targets, they know that um, the, they'll uh, be able to use that against us. So they'll build in a check in the in the program to look for a specific software library like is Qt FTP, is this version of Java present, et cetera. And um, if it isn't, it won't run. It'll either interrupt and blue screen the machine or just stop, stop running altogether. So what we do is we look at the file uh, before we analyze it, we read the file header. The file header contains all the libraries that might be called on by the payload. And we pre-stage or preload those in the virtual machine before we detonate it. And then we run it and the malware believes that the library is present and it runs successfully. Being able to successfully run malware sounds kind of funny that that's a big goal of ours, but the reason for it is um, for detections. If you can't run it, you can't analyze it. You can't determine what behaviors it is. Um, that has led to a huge increase in our detection capabilities and led to dramatic um, reduction in, in you know false negatives or you know malware that we thought was benign but is actually malicious uh, for us yielding huge results for us and I would also you know kind of double down on this this is built alongside wildfire but on completely uh, separate in its own cloud infrastructure um, this type of analysis that we're doing is stuff that you could never get with an on-premise uh, physical sandbox device um, you know, coming from, you know, working at McAfee and Trend Micro with their appliances before. Um, great solutions, but you could never get there with an on-premise appliance. This is techniques and capabilities that you really need the scale of, um, that the cloud has to offer with its compute and, and storage capabilities. Well, thank you, Michael. That's really interesting. I've learned a lot today. So once again, thank you for being on. Here's John. Appreciate being on for the next episode of uh, Pancast here. Well, thank you again, Michael. Some great insights into threat prevention and how Nova can help. For our Pancasters out there, if you'd like the transcript to this episode, please head to live.paloaltonetworks.com. You can also find some links to additional details on Nova, including other great new features. Bye for now.